It's been a little while since I did a little video. I'm just out in the bush here, checking out my old snaring spots, some of it there, and some game trails. Looking for sheds, but I never find any. I find the odd one, just always small stuff. One year I felt lucky I found a match set side by side. That was about it. But I got some, a little bit of cleanup to do here. Some trees have fallen. And I got a hunting shack back there somewhere, right there. And uh, you can maybe see the trees blew across there. And then I drove up to that and looked past there and there's another tree. So I have to bring a chainsaw. I just thought I'd drive around and check it out anyways. But maybe when I go by some of my snare spots, I'll show you what they look like in the summer. Or spring i guess still hasn't greened up here at all it's been cold usually we start to get a bit of green and it's just starting to warm up about 12 t today so it's not too bad of temperature to clean on some of this debris and uh probably better to do it now before when all the grass grows over top of it and makes it 10 times heavier if I can muscle that bad boy over. I've seen some of the guys there shed hunting on YouTube and it seems like the bush in the States is pedicured compared to ours. Like this is a game trail here. An older one, but if you look, it's just thick all over. Other places you see where the guys are finding their sheds, it's like wide open flat and there's no scrub brush. Prickle bushes and all those nasty little buggers. But these old poplars every year, I lose a couple of them. And then they fall across the line and cause me grief. But I'll clean this up and then I'll do a drive by on some of the snare spots. Alright, catch ya. Well, a couple minutes into it. Not too bad, that cleaned up okay. Now I gotta muscle this big bad boy here. Let's see if I can do it. If not, I'll have to bring the tractor in or something, but dirty bugger. All right, we got it moved over. Well, I got it to move a couple feet. At least it's off to the side a bit more. Uh, there's a bit of a hump over here and I can't get past it without blowing a nut so I just leave it there and maybe I'll come with a tractor one day and push it off to the side so we'll go down this way here see what's going on get you there's a nice game trail Let's see where it ends up Gonna be a short walk to the back cut line here. And we got here some wolf poop. That's good to know they're traveling here. So looking for beds and stuff. Out at the end here, that's where I caught uh, a wolf. Down there, there's a bit of a loop I have. Some coyotes down over there as well. We caught.
fairly fresh tracks in here. Kicked up a bit. This area here was logged out a few years ago. I was growing up pretty nice and thick here. It's good for snaring and bedding for other big game animals. So it joins up. Some moose droppings. Maybe we'll find a moose woman in here. Maybe I'll just get exercise. And it looks like we just got exercise. Moose poop. poop there and then we end up over here this opening here is where I have another trail come through I did work this up at one point some of the landscape you can see right here broken branches that's the moose breaking them bull moose so there's another one over here see if it focuses but right there and then the game trail kind of carries on over here this heads off to a field I think I'll just uh, head back to the truck now. Just want to see how heavy the trail was coming out here. And then when we go back to that end there where I said the wolf was caught, we take a left and that'll bring us back around into here. And we'll drive out this way just to see if there's any antlers sticking anywhere. I won't bore you with the walk back. I'll turn you on once something exciting happens. So that ribbon there, the bottom here, I had a power ram. We got one coyote there. And this trail right here, we got two coyotes on, and this is where in one of the last videos there, the coyote came on both sides of the power ram and stopped. Went and checked it out from both sides. Just carry on. Right up 
there, that's where that one coyote was that was just dead. They didn't know why it was dead or didn't look like having snared or shot or anything like that. So it might have died of old age or something else killed it. That's where that was. I'm gonna get some more bait and stuff like that, keep this spot going kind of year round, get everything kind of coming in again and the wolves checking it out. And, uh, looks like the ribbon fell off the tree, but the trail is right here. That's where they were going in and out before. I don't get thinking about driving right now, I don't have to worry about getting stuck in two or three feet of snow. Took quite a few of the ribbons down already when I took the car around them. I kept some of the trails that I know they use year to year. Right here, that's where I caught the wolf. The coyote. You can see the trail there. Just goes straight through, and that's where they're going. Either the bait there. This way here, this trail, takes me to where I walk through and that's that one trail and it meets up. I'm just going to go into the big field and then go down along the edge and then back in that way just looking for any trails or anything like that that I should mark for next year. But uh, I'll turn you on in a bit. Looks like a good trail right here. Got more of the fence. Land was really rocky, and then when they worked it up, they just pushed everything off to the side here. And then they never did break this side here, just had it logged. We'll see where this heavy trail goes. I think this trail here, my wife shot a 170 coming out of here a few years ago. trails that way. Lots of little sub trails off this big one here.
you here there. You shedding? Keep pushing through the bush here, I guess. Trails come together here. And then we're gonna come out. This might be the trail that I started on the other end. Poop there. Yep, this is the trail I started in from the other side where I got out and walked and came to this opening here. They'd be bedding right in here somewhere, but I guess not. I'll go back and go back to the truck and then we'll drive the top edge there and see what we see. Alright, I'll catch you in a bit. As far as dumping a few of the coyotes here. But it makes you wonder if someone ever digs this up in a couple thousand years. They're gonna wonder what the heck happened here, why there's so many coyotes and canines and whatnot dead in this one spot. I guess I'll just have to go back on YouTube and figure it out. But I'm gonna set some pigs in here through the year, like the other spots there. And then straight ahead of me is about a quarter mile of straight little uh, poplars and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can bring the tractor in and open up a trail in there. And then I'll snare up there as well. And in case it gets smart in my other spot, we'll have a backup plan. <laughs> 